Look at these images. Would you say there's something wrong with someone who would paint something like this? Do you like them? Is there something wrong with you? I went to the Tate Modern's exhibition on magic realism last year, which was all about German art after World War I. German artists had just lived through a period of unthinkable violence, and their devastated country was steadily marching towards fascism. Without getting too bogged down in terminology, art was getting weird. Realism was being tossed aside in favor of a distorted, violent world full of chaos, confusion, and anxiety, and I have to be honest, I love this stuff. The tension I feel when looking at these images is soothing, like the sting of a needle sucking some dark part of myself into the light of day. But why? We all hunger for art that disturbs us on some level. Even the tamest stories feature acts of horrific trauma. So what is this universal thing inside all of us that hungers for stuff like this? Because there are those who would call this sick. In fact, one such person whose little mustache quivered with rage at this kind of stuff was none other than famously not sick person Adolf Hitler. The Third Reich took down over 20,000 modern and avant-garde artworks from German museums and even went so far as to open an exhibit called the Degenerate Art Exhibition to horrify people away from what he called, quote, the art of decay. This was supposed to contrast with the great German art exhibition just a few blocks away, which... Hitler said would celebrate, quote, the immortal achievement of the German artistic heritage. This exhibit was free of anything that would be considered problematic or subversive. This art was more romantic and classical, with titles like Fruitful Land and Blessing of Earth. It had a lot of happy peasants, landscapes, military propaganda, and naked white people. It's amazing how one of the most brutal regimes in human history had such tame art. But much of authoritarianism is about pretending this beast inside of people either doesn't exist or only exists in, quote, degenerates. It's using the beasts within those in power to neuter the beasts within everyone else. At the exhibition's opening, Hitler spent the entire speech screeching about modern art, with one attendee saying, quote, he was spitting out his words and drumming with his fists, literally foaming at the mouth. But when it was all said and done, the degenerate art exhibit attracted twice as many visitors as the great German art exhibition. You cannot stamp out people's appetites for this kind of content. Because when we look at art of any kind, we can't help but look for parts of ourselves, even the disturbing parts. Because oftentimes, it's the only way we know how to talk about it. As Nobel Prize winning writer Mario Vargas Llosa writes, This is a great paradox of art and literature. What is despicable in life can be very attractive and appealing in art. You nourish yourself with everything that you hate. See you next time.